One ant. Just one. All the ants, they can hear her. Even though, according to science, ants are mute. One ant. She is the speaker of the house. She worked for Joe Biden. She took the microphone. She used a Bluetooth. You know? Everybody, like, uh, why? Like, watching live in TikTok. You know? She said, uh, you know, enter. Uh, and, and what is killing me in the story? How in the world the ant, she knew the name of Suleiman? Hello friends and family, welcome to the Holy Scripture Christ is Lord. This is another reaction video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let us watch and have some fun. This video is only for educational purposes. Hope you learned something from it. And as you see, Islam is running away from Saudi Arabia. Islam is running away from Saudi Arabia. Right now, you can go to Mecca. You can go to Mecca as a Christian. If you don't believe me, you can even buy a ticket. Right now. There's tons of videos in YouTube about Jewish Christians, all those blogger YouTubers going to Mecca. Go, to, go watch it. So, Islam uh, 10 years ago is not the same as Islam 10 years after. You can go to Mecca, you can go to Medina. There's no police, Islamic police no more. Nobody can force anyone to pray. Women, they are driving cars. There's the clubs, there's night clubs. Uh, there's movies, there's theaters. There is singing, there is dancing. Just less than 10 years ago, all of those things is a dream. You know, so what happened in Saudi Arabia actually, is like the edge of collapsing. Like the people, they were waiting for somebody to do something. Nobody there. But when this crown prince, who obviously is a criminal, you know, is a terrorist, he knew how to deal with terrorists. Anyone will oppose him, he will cut his head. The guy opposed him in Turkey. They asked him to come to the embassy to change his passport for marriage, whatever. And then inside the embassy, they cut him shish kebab, literally. And then they dispose his body. Nobody knows until now where his body is. This guy, because of fear, even those who they are true believers in Islam, in Saudi Arabia, don't dare to open their mouth. If I go right now and look for, uh, uh, you know, a night club, nightlife in Saudi Arabia. Not long ago, if you say such a thing, if you search for such a thing, it's, it's impossible to find anything. What night club? Everybody has to be home by, by 6 o'clock. And the only things Muslim they do is, uh, you know, uh, like private party, uh, usually men with men, women with women, and usually end with sexual intercourse between men and men. Yeah, and the, you know, the Muslim, they are talking about why people leave in Islam, Mufti Mink, and many, all of them, they are talking about why even Mimi Hijab, even Lili Dawa, even blah, 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 blah. They are talking about why Muslims live in Islam these days. It's going to be a balanche. Actually, uh, what his name, uh, Apostate Prophet, he made a nice video about it. I, I find it funny. You know, those guys, they are good at making, uh, you know, short videos. Uh, I don't know if you remember the video. Let me see if I can find it for you. <clears throat> I don't care for sure what he's saying, but uh, what the Muslim they were saying is funny. Muslims are leaving Islam, brother. They are leaving Islam. What we can do? And you know, the Muslim they focus in celebrity. So they can help them to get into the world, let us say, you know, to promote the religion. But even the celebrity who convert to Islam, most of them, they are very, you know, very, very horrible quality. Uh, like a famous, uh, you know, a kid, like, you know, like this guy with his name is Nico. A, tr a trash, a piece of trash, you know. Uh, Andrew Tits, piece of trash. This is how desperate this religion. They are looking for anything 
to promote religion. Uh, here, this is the video. <coughs> and you know, we know this guy, he is from Turkey himself, and he left Islam too. So he's an example of those who they are leaving Islam. Assalamu alaikum. My heart is breaking. Oh, brothers and sisters, my soul is aching. Brothers and sisters, did you know that so many people are leaving Islam every day? Why would anybody leave such a beautiful religion? Why would they choose to become a sick disbeliever instead? A'udhu Billah. Brothers and sisters, 100,000 Muslims are leaving Islam every single year. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. I'm telling you, this is serious stuff. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. Yes, we say that there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and Islam is growing day by day. But the standard narrative has holes. And we are not proud of that. Not proud of that. Apostates are everywhere. They are among us. They are even people who memorize the Quran. They are prophets of the Quran. The youth are full of doubts. Our youth are full of doubts. And we tell them, doubts? What doubts, man? Doubts? What doubts, man? Have some guts, be a man. Have some guts, be a man. But nobody is answering their questions. And nobody's answering their questions. We tell them to stop questioning and to stop being emotional. And we tell them to be a Chad. Be a Chad. You can do it. I believe in you. But instead, they choose to be bad. We've seen this happen, unfortunately. We've seen this happen to a lot of people. If it continues like this, your child is going to become an apostate. Your, your child is going to become an apostate. Imagine your child, your child, the child that you are raising could end up with the disbelievers, with the kuffar and go to hellfire hellfire will roast them toast them break them shake them hellfire will annihilate them and the rest of us will be watching brothers and sisters we must act now we must do something about this and what you can do is to donate to our channel so that we can do something may Allah keep us firm Never let us go astray. May Allah keep our children firm. If we don't take constructive steps now, this is going to become an avalanche. It is going to become an avalanche. A tsunami. A tsunami. The apostates, they are everywhere. They don't make it public. They hide it. They are leading prayers. They are leading prayers. The Muslim. They are still living the life of a religious Muslim. And they are still leading that life while simultaneously declaring their apostates. Brothers and sisters, if you feel as strongly about this as I do, then please, Donate to us and our cause. You can make a one-time donation or a monthly donation. Please be generous. Please give whatever you can so that we can take the responsibility and alhamdulillah spread apostasy. Donate now. Help now. You may even receive many gifts in heaven, in paradise, in Jannah. You can get a house next to me or next to some other very good looking man. <laughs> you have an opportunity right now on this haram new year. You can do something halal and donate your money was so what are you waiting for donate now leave it to shake your booty alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you 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 th oh ah. commercial break somebody is eating what happened to my page So do you see what happened to Muslims? They are leaving Islam. Left or right? Any Muhammadan? And uh, don't, <laughs> don't forget to donate for us because we are the one who can stop what's happening. Anyone? Muslims, why you do not donate to apostate prophet so he can help you to fight apostasy anyone no muslims let me look at my skype zero zero muhammadan what happened muhammadans where is the muslims we are proud and they are, you know, and the, the, you know, Islam is the fastest growing religion. I don't know what I see is the opposite. You tell me. Did you hear the Sheikh saying it's going to be avalanche? Avalanche. Uh, you 
Yeah, as you see, everybody want to marry Fatima, you know. And you know, the funny is that Fatima later, Abu Bakr and Omar, both of them, uh, they were involved in her death. Uh, as you know, even Omar, he uh, uh, command to burn the house of Fatima when she is inside the house. According to the stories that uh, Omar even, he kicked her in her belly and he made her lose a child. And then she died. Speaking about an amazing story in the Quran. I mean, who can deny this? It's true. Gathered for Sulaiman alayhi salam on a certain occasion, his army from mankind, from jinn kind, and from the birds. And they were all together moving in a certain direction. They were in such an order. Yuza'un means they were in a proper order, the order of a military commander. Which means, you know, when the soldiers are marching, they have a specific beautiful order. So we had the, the human beings, the jinn kind, the birds, the other creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On this occasion, the three are mentioned. And Allah says, <laughs> Until they arrive to the valley of the ant. One of the ants, she say, this is God talking. This is what you want people to convert to. This is God. Until they arrive to the value of the ants. The guy is a flying at the top of a flying carpet can carry seven billion soldiers. As you know, his army is from Jerusalem all the way, 3,500 mile long army. How many? How many? The length of the army. No space, no empty space. They are in ranks, as you heard. Birds, genie, human. 3,500 mile long army, all in the top of a flying carpet. And now Suleiman, in the top of the flying carpet in the sky, he heard one ant, which is a mute. One ant. He arrived at the value of the ants. And he heard one ant. Who can... I mean, Everybody will convert to Islam now. I'm, uh, by the way, I'm not, uh, I'm not just picking up like um, a story. Uh, name any story for me. It's not stupid. Name any story in the Quran. Is not even the story about Jesus in the Quran is stupid. Allah, He made someone look like Jesus. Like how stupid this story is. Why brother he made him look like Jesus? Because he want to save Jesus. Or cannot he save Jesus without making someone look like Jesus? And now the Christian they think this is Jesus. Why? Because Allah decided to make someone look like Jesus. And then you will read in Islam that Muhammad, Angel, Jibreel, he was a clone by Shaitan. Shaitan came to Muhammad, gave him satanic verses. Muhammad, he saw angel coming to him. He gave him the verses. It turned to be shaitan. And his name is Al-Abiyad. Jibreel, he cloned a guy. His name is Dahil Kalbi. So look, everybody clone everybody. Shaitan cloned Jibreel. Jibreel cloned Dahya. Jibreel cloned a man. And then uh, uh, Allah, he cloned Jesus. Everybody clone everybody. So how we can trust even Muhammad is Muhammad? Maybe he's a clone. How we can't trust Jibreel to be Jibreel? If he's a clone. As long as it's proven in your religion that everybody cloning everybody. And now this guy flying, uh, Suleiman, and he heard one ant. Look, even uh, Mufti Mink, is holding his finger. Small ant, small ant. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The ant she is saying to the other ant, enter your dwelling. Warning, war warning system. You know. You know, and they have to sing it for you to make it make sense because if you don't sing it, it's stupid. The valley of the ants. Suleiman with his huge army, my, so big, a massive army, as he is passing the valley of the ants, he notices one ant, one, calling out to the rest of the ants, O nation of ants, 
Go into your dwellings because Sulaiman is coming with his army. He'll probably trample over you without even knowing what has happened. All the ants, all the nation of the ants. One ant. Just one. All the ants, they can hear her. Even though, according to science, ants are mute. One ant. She is the speaker of the house. She worked for Joe Biden. She took the microphone. She used a Bluetooth, you know. Everybody, like, uh, why, like watching live in tech talk, you know. She said, uh, you know, enter, uh, and, and what is killing me in the story, how in the world, the end, she knew the name of Suleiman. Did you hear what he said? He said, the end, she said, enter your dwelling, otherwise the army of Suleiman. How she knew Suleiman? I mean, this guy is so famous. I'm telling you, this guy is, not only that, after that, we will hear about a debate. About what? A debate. Yes, brother. Hold on, let me show you. The end she debated Suleiman. And who won the, the debate? Anyone remember? Who is the one who won the debate? The end. Let us show you. And for sure, those are true stories, you know, proven to be scientifically correct. Let us search for the, where it is located. That will be not easy. Let us see. Because we don't want to go read the whole thing. You see, we're searching for and, and let's go faster here. Here we go. Suleiman passed through the valley of ants. Miracles of Suleiman. And this is the verses in the Quran. And here it says, the story. Ibrahim have narrated that when the wind raised the throne of Ibrahim, by the way, this is a mistake. They want to say uh, Suleiman, not Ibrahim. So when the wind, which means the flying carpet, uh, he reached the valley of ants, where silver and gold uh, come out. By the way, this is false translation. Because it says, where silver and gold growing, grow. Where silver and gold grow, grow. Like, you know, like tomato, potato. Uh, actually, here in the same place, look, 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 look. Imam al Sadiq said, there is a, a one valley of Allah where silver and gold is grown. And he protect, has protected it with the weakest creatures like ants. And if a powerful army want to enter it cannot do so hold on how Suleiman is going there and nobody can enter anyway it's a, you know they grow I mean Allah he grow gold there that's a true story no comment and then here it says according to a reliable but take a note this is a reliable chain of narrators narrates from Imam al Sadiq, that when the, an ant conversed with others, the wind took their conversation to Suleiman. At the time when he was in the air, true story, you are in this air, like three, four thousand miles higher, you know, foot high, and then uh, the wind took the, uh, the word of the ant to Suleiman. Right, you know, like right, right away. Suleiman, he asked the strong wind to stop, stop, break, you know, <laughs> the, the, the flying carpet stop. And then after he asked the, uh, the commanded the flying carpet to stop, he called out the ant. Look at this, man. Imagine yourself, you are the ant and Suleiman is calling you with this massive army. What would happen to you? I, know, I feel sorry for this ant. You know, she was moving like if, as if there is an ant in her pant, you know. So he called the ant. He says, where are you? And then 
the end she came to Suleiman. He said, don't you know that I am a prophet of Allah? And I do not oppress anybody. True, true. Muslim just rape, kill, but they don't oppress. The aunt said, yes, yes, yes. I know Suleiman. I know. She know his name. She know all. She have his, she have everything about him. He, she have the FBI, uh, FBI file. Then Suleiman said, then why did you scare others from me and order them to enter their holes? Then she said, <laughs> Habibi Suleiman, I was scared when their vision fall on you, they will become fascinated. Do you see how we get the sentence wrong in the Quran? He will, he, when she said they will crush you, she's talking about they will feel in love with Suleiman because he's so sexy. They will be fascinated when, they, they, when their vision fell on you. So this aunt, she was not warning Suleiman, sorry, the, the ants from hiding because he will crush them by their feet. No. But when they see Suleiman, he is so hot. He's so hot, you know, like I'm very bored. Actually, I have reference that Suleiman, he used to put uh, his penis under the, the coffee and he boiled the coffee. Very easy. So the ant, she was afraid that those ants, when they see Suleiman, how hot he is, they will have a crush on him. And then the ant, she asked Suleiman. And now look, look, look at the debate. The ant, I thought that Suleiman will question, the ant will investigate, it turned to be Suleiman now as the potato. So the ant, now she is saying to him, listen Suleiman, who is more honorable, you or your father, Dawood, which means David? Look at this question. She put him in the corner. What he will say now? The aunt, she is asking Suleiman, who is more honorable, you or your father? Suleiman said, my father is much more esteemed and honorable than me. The aunt, she said, <laughs> idiot. Then why? It is so that your name has one more alphabet than your father's name. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to pull my hair. I'm going to do. I'm going to do what? How? Look. This. This. This is must be a student of Christian Prince. This end. How she learned this? In how? This is a skill of debate we never we never saw before. The end. She got Suleiman busted. And now he must be more honorable because his name have one more alphabet. What the heck is that? And now the Muslims, you know, when they read this, they learn wisdom. This is wisdom. Look at this amazing debate. The ant in one team, Suleiman in the other team. Both are Muslims, brother. The ant she cornered Suleiman in the speed of anti. <laughs> yeah, listen, who is here have a very long name? I mean, just think about it. If you have one more alphabet in your name, you are the most honorable. Very simple. Okay, I don't know. Muhammad's name is very short in Arabic. It is Muhammad, four, four letters. <laughs> Based on this logic, uh, uh, the <laughs> wood is more honorable than Muhammad himself. Anyway, and sorry, Suleiman, Suleiman. Do we have any Muslim? You know, he want to explain to us how this beautiful wisdom is amazing. You know, and then Suleiman, look, Suleiman, he says, "I don't know." So look, what the heck? He's a prophet of Allah, and the end, she knew more than him. I mean, you see how embarrassing. He's a prophet of Allah. The end, she's asking him a question. Why your name have one more alphabet? Suleiman, in the corner. He look up, he look, you know, Allah, what, you know? No answer. So, to escape it, he said, I don't know. This is what the Muslims, they do when they talk to me. I don't know, Christian Prince. I don't know. So, the end said, because your father, uh, like he, he, he have an injury in his heart. 
and we cured him with the love of Allah. He was called Dawood. And as you protected from that injury, you are called Suleiman. Look at this. Any story you see in the Muslim books, maybe 70 to 80 percent of it is coming from some stupid Jews who they teach stupid stories to their kids. Like a, a Tuweva singer. All those stories, garbage, a lot of garbage in the Talmud and all the garbage that Jewish people they have in their tradition, which is nothing but legions. Those are books written, have nothing to do with the Bible, written by an idiot trying to take advantage of the dummy Jews, the one who is not educated. And those stories are repeated be between Jews like in a massive way. And the stupid Muhammad, he took them seriously. Okay, guys. Like, share, and comment below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you soon.